Good evening. Countryside campaigners have been voicing concerns about the planned high-speed rail line between London and the Midlands. A meeting was held today on the site of the proposed HS2 route, just two days before a judicial review begins into the multi-billion pound scheme. Keith Wilkinson reports. A sign of the passions roused by HS2. This meeting of the campaign to protect rural England was packed as the debate goes on. And Coventry has not yet woken up to the fact that the train is going to speed by them and be of no use to them at all. It was held at Stoneley in Warwickshire, one of the places in the path of the proposed high-speed line between Birmingham and London. It's really to gauge the strength of feeling in this area about the massive damage which could accrue from this flawed development. On Monday, a judicial review begins into HS2 at the High Court. It will look at how the government has conducted the planning process, whether it followed the correct procedures. Well, this week is really important. It's something that we've been waiting for for a very long time. The legal challenge on HS2. We've felt, felt right from the start that the government has just rushed this through. They haven't thought it through properly. They haven't been abiding by their own regulations and they will be held to account. This has been such a high profile project for the government that they have been meticulous in how they've gone about setting out the plans, their level of consultation. We shall see, the judicial review will tell us, but we believe they followed the rules to the letter. It's our greatest problem in this country is how long it takes us to get infrastructure built. It's still going to be two years before this project gets onto the statute book, let alone we start building it. Um, that two years though means that we take account of the environmental impacts, we take account of the compensation issues. Uh, that's how we do things in this country. Personally, I think it takes too long. The Department for Transport said the government is confident the decisions on HS2 have been taken lawfully and fairly, and it is vigorously defending these legal challenges. Keith Wilkinson, Central News.